This last example will cover additional functionality that's available when using the SLPS interface. We'll go over some powerful 3D rendering that you can add from MATLAB Simulink. This will allow you to look at some of your creations in 3D to better visualize and solve your projects. Another feature is the ability to toggle variables while running a simulation. You can change variables on the fly to view the impact on your piece by circuit and your system as a whole. Let's take a look at this from the desktop in the MATLAB application. Here I'll open up my project which is labeled PowerWindow.mdl which will bring up a 3D model of a car power window project which came with MATLAB. What we've done is replace the subsystem of the circuitry with PSPICE. So in the amplification block here, we've introduced an SLPS block where previously there were some simulink blocks. The block itself is some amplification which we won't be focusing on in this demonstration, but are only mentioning it for completeness. I'll go to the model design and hit the run button to simulate. At the start of the simulation, plot for position, armature current, and force display, and we notice the window rise towards some obstacle. As the simulation continues, we see that the window has run against the obstacle and started to oscillate, which can also be seen in the plots. What we can do is toggle things on the fly to fix this problem. I'll select the driver switch subsystem. From here, we'll take the up off and turn the down on. You'll notice the plots and window model are moving to the bottom. I'll switch to up again. Another thing we can do is take the object away and let it move to the top. We'll let this run for a bit. Now what happened here is that while it was simulating, it failed to converge. The project was co-simulating with the PSPICE tool and sent some data off to PSPICE, which it was unable to solve, prompting an error message with an option to abort or interact. This is a problem, but one that's readily solved with the convergence wizard. If we were to abort, what we would have needed to do if we wanted to get past this point is loosen our settings in PSPICE, return to MATLAB, try to get back to this place in our simulation again, and try rerunning it to see if it worked properly, which would have been a tedious process. However, with the Convergence Wizard and SLPS interface, we can actually interact with the piece by simulation settings. Hitting Interact displays the piece by option parameters window, where we can change parameters such as relative tolerance, absolute tolerance, etc. I'll go ahead and change the relative tolerance from 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 and hit OK. It should now converge and the simulation will continue from where it started. And as you can see, the window continued up without error. Now bring it back down. Also, I can put the object back and continue moving it up. This example showed the 3D modeling that you can perform to enhance your Simulink simulation experience. We also demonstrated the ability to toggle variables on the fly and displayed the convergence wizard.